Hi there, welcome back to our Pokemon Crazy episode. In the last episode, we did a Team Rocket Hideout in Mahogany Town. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on the gym. Which is going to be an, like an ice puzzle? Mm. Oh, and straight into, the, straight, straight into the trainer. I think I know my way around this puzzle. I'm presuming we are high level than this uh, gym. So, it might not be too difficult. The difficulty would be probably be getting to uh, the gym leader. That's correct. And, sorry. The difficulty would probably be getting to him rather than fighting him unless he's got like, like four Mewtwo's. I think it's a four, I think it's a four Pokemon. I think it's four or three. And I've run out and just stay in. Use confusion. It should one hit probably. It's super effective. I'm trying not to fight other I'm trying, I'm trying not to fight other trainers, but I just kind of struggling to find my way around perfectly, the perfect route around. I'm just gonna fight, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that had like 31. 7 all the difference. And I lost 39. Uh, and then we choke. What you could say in, but I'll switch to Rocky. Because I can easily stay in because Psychic is super effective. But I always use, well, use, I always use an attack, which one attack will do the same. Or one hit. Maybe it's just symbols going left and then. Oh. There's a patch above this person that you can slide to. Okay, go back. I can't use psychics, it's hard dark type, so I use Shadow Ball. Do a crit, which is which one hits the goal back. Uh, Tita, I can't use that, so we'll switch to. Switch to tank to use rock smash. This T Tower is rock type. Now, T -tower's pretty, no, T Tower is pretty scary, but we're probably in the best Pokemon to deal with him. There's just Sandstorm, Sandstorm, so I probably should have switched to my like, Aerodactyl. He's Thrash, Thrash is going to do. That's just gonna do that much. So we're just gonna take a little bit more damage from that, and we rock smash again. Which gets rid of the T Tower. Uh, Stain as well, that's normal type as well. And we rock smash again. Should have both Pokemon. Use your slap. 
find some stable on this jumping unit. It should now be. Yeah. 200 meters in range of Rock Smash. Here. No. Uh, open up. Try to avoid all the train as well and just fighting them all. Uh, F and B. Uh, use confusion. You turn that might do enough to re well, recall the game. They was it something to recall. I think recalls are quite much to, uh, damage it did itself. Um, oh, in there. There we go. It was probably just that simple the entire time. We'll heal up. Um, because you don't know what the train's gonna have. And we'll go for the next one, but. But it probably was literally that simple of. Then you need to fight every trainer. Yeah, he's got three Pokemon. He starts off with a Bulbasaur. Um, are you just confusing? Okay, it's super effective. Uh, Aledian will switch for Zard. He's got Grass type, Grass type. Flame Pro should one hit. No. Letting Blood Grass? And a Weezing. Uh, we'll switch to. Veal. Because Veal's Steel Touch, so it, it can't use like Smog and Poison. They look 37. They're not actually that massively overwhelmed. Oh, they were. Issues with most screen was kind of annoying. We land the rock, bro. Like, it really didn't, it really didn't do anything at all. Not, it's not using an attacker because it can't because it's steel type. So it's just it's just gonna destroy my it's just gonna destroy my accuracy with smoke screen. I thought I'd have had explosion. Level thirty seven. Okay, we land two rages in a row. It's probably our strongest move. So it's got haze and smoke screen. Okay, we're getting very good um, accuracy look. Despite being smoke screen night. Um, six times. It's just why it's no longer working. Use that bullshit. Okay. 
like, hey, he's got smoke screen. I don't want to switch into anything else in case it switches, I switch and it explodes. Because it's probably my best defensive one as well. That's one where it's poison moves can't actually affect us. Because of that steel. If you were still on it, I know it's, it probably is like Sludge Wave or something. Sludge Wave, Sludge Bomb, because they probably, that means they probably have. Maybe I actually did not load enough. <laughs> I could have been saving Charizard in one hit with Flamethrower. Probably. Been drawing probably, probably just as easy. Because now I leave myself. I mean, part of what probably what I should have done if I was just screeched right at the start. Because I'd have made these um, do more damage. Let's go. I think he's using take these here now, so we should be fine. We just need to we just need to land like two more hits. That's all we need to do. It's not you unless it doesn't have explosion. That would do. I'll play seven. Okay. As long as this lands, we win. There we go. <laughs> long, uh, long winded uh, third Pokemon fight. But it's a case of. I don't want to. I don't want to. I, I don't know if it has exploded. I don't want to use it on any of my weaker Pokemon. But the Glacier Badge. Did we get. Is it Ice Beam from Jump Luda? Is it Ice Beam from Christ? Icy Wind. Maybe we can move. Oh, press our own. Radio broadcast. So we need to, I mean, we need to go back to Golden Rod, but we're heal first. But we've got, we got the next gen badge. Even if the fighting is ace was a bit long one, but that's, that's because the air I couldn't use poison moves because we were still fighting and they're not very effective. They're not effective at all. And obviously it didn't have explosion to, to use. So that'll be of course we end this episode. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Until next time, see ya!